We're missing two things. One, the globe, which if, if you don't know, the, the globe was stolen. Insert scene of Mango literally stealing a globe live on stream that, that none of you guys told me about, by the way, which was weird of you guys. Nobody told me that the globe was stolen. You just, you didn't tell me. So the globe was, it was thieved. It was here. It was big. It's now gone. All right, somehow in an Uber, it was thieved for me. And so this is what we have. This is, this is what we got today. Now, all this stuff is worth about $5,000, but the fact of the matter is this right here is $3,000. And this is what Mango, or excuse me, not Mango, Atrioc picked when we did our, our little Amazon stream. Let's look at a few of the things that we got, starting with just a stupid number of life-size cutouts. Starting with, can you guess who this life-size cutout is? That's right, kids. It's former president, George W. Bush. Whoa. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, yeah. Whoa. Get it? Uh, next up, we have, this does not look like a former US president. Let me just do this. Uh, hey, how's it going there, pretty lady? Are you one of the 35% of the rootin' tootin' fuck ups who haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel? Well, it'd be an awful shame if you didn't switch sides. I got a blue pickup that matches the color of my jeans. And some people think I'm racist, but I'm not. Often racist, I'm just a bit of a cowboy. <laughs> that was my impression of a cowboy. Anyway, if you guys haven't already. Oh, f Oh, this one's so short. It's RBG. No. Yeah, RBG. Is it the same as the computer thing? Bro. On God, you're short as fuck. Uh, anyway, this is Ruth. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Uh, Ruth, uh, say hi to George. George Ruth, you guys probably know each other. And Sexy Cowboy Man. We only have one more cutout. This one might be the biggest. Anaheim, the world is listening one more time when the rock and the millions of the rock's fans go to WrestleMania and electrify WrestleMania and the world like no one else can. If you're some man, what the rock? Oh shit! From behind, from out of nowhere, it's Ludwin! Oh shit! Yeah! Ludwig Supremacy! Against the odds! Anyway, uh, that's all of these cutouts. Uh, and now, for the reading portion of stream. Did everybody remember to read um, the New York Times best-selling author's book, Good to Be Bad? Because we're going to be going through a few of these today. If you guys haven't and you forgot, we'll cover uh, just a few of it right now. It was only supposed to be one time, <clears throat> but that red hot one night stand from the party, the sexy man in the suit who gave me more O's in a few hours than I've had in a year. Turns out my charming British stranger is keeping a little secret. I'm getting the feeling this book might not be great for Twitch. I, I don't know, Atriot got it for me. I haven't read it yet. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> Next. All right, before I put all the things I have to wear on. This is gonna be so cringe. Hey, fucker, how's it going? Oh, still working that nine to five? I'm making that nine to five mil every year. Here's the thing, 
that separates me and you. It's called taking a chance. Look, I get it. Go to college, get your dead end job, get a wife, get a house, get a kid, white picket fence. Fuck that, that's not the American dream anymore. It's time to start dreaming. It's time to start woofing. Introducing my new Dogecoin startup. I made my own cryptocurrency after we stopped talking in college and I dropped out. And uh, basically it's, cause you know how Do so I don't know if you heard about Dogecoin, but it's really popping off right now. And I thought that I could, I thought that I could start my own crypto and it's called the Wolf of Wall Street coin. And the idea behind it is it's like a deeper Doge for people who want to get in on Doge, but didn't get in on Doge. Uh-oh, time to make bread, time to make bread. So I already made this. Um, I stole everything that I used for the art, but who, who gives a fuck? That's how it works in crypto, baby. And, uh, and it, should be, it, should be, it should be pretty hype, man. Look, are you in or are you a pussy? Uh, oh, I only have one more because look, maybe I'm not sold on the Wolf of Wall Street and using Doge to get to a million. But I will say, I grew up Catholic, like many of you might have. I was confirmed, all right? I was baptized, all the works. I remember going to Sunday school week in, week out, loving God, thinking of the big three, all right? If you don't know, that's Jesus, God, and, and they had a pal as well. And what I remember was thinking that this is the greatest ever. Like Jesus was the, the greatest guy ever. But luckily, I found out the truth. It's Elon Musk. He's the third. Yeah, I bought Doge at 15 cents and went up to 35. I put in another 10 racks, which was 10X my original investment. Shit shot up to 70, so I dumped in about 50K more. It didn't sell, it was going to a buck. Then he went on SNL. Since then, it's dropped, never gone up for a second. So I'm actually sitting around like um, maybe 2K off my original investment. Um, fell down pretty fast, but you know, the thing about Elon is he says you live fast, you die hard. And some of us die. And if I have to die so Elon can live, then so be it. Hodel. <laughs> anyway, what's the best way to destroy this? Okay, I don't, I don't think this is as easy as I thought this was gonna be. I need to do like a little, just like a baby little, like a little. This is not gonna work still. Ow, fuck. <laughs> fuck. How do you do this? Oh, okay. All right, I think I did it. I think I did it. The main problem is there was a piece of wood supporting it. I've got it. Last one, last try, this time for sure. Damn it. Uh, yeah! The Shining 2021. Uh, we got some clothes here. Is Hassan still live? No? Fuck. All right, well, uh... You look like Johnny Bravo. I feel like the guy from that TikTok. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. Do the Johnny Bravo poses. All right, hold on. Oh, man. I dig it when chicks run. Say, it, baby, how's about you and I? Out of way, mister. Get off of me, you son of a handbag. Oh, you want content? All right, I'll give you, I'll give you content then. If you want a little content. Oh, this is not gonna fly. 
These are called TikTok shorts. Right now, they just look like normal shorts. That's it. That's it. That's it. Five second rule. You're not allowed to ban me. Technically, I was going for a spin. That's it. That's everything. Got more TikTok shit. Uh, fun fact, in different countries, the letter symbols for sizes actually correlate to different sizes entirely. So, like, a small in America might not be the same as a small in the United Kingdom or in a different country. If you were curious, though, this is what a small in America looks like. Can I get an amen if you're sick and tired of Twitter, dude? I swear to God, people have the worst takes. I had this tweet thread like two days ago. God knows who these people are, but they're like, Ludwig actually baits a lot of younger viewers to enjoy his content through deceptive strategies to like relate to these younger kids, which is really like toxic and predatory. And it's like, can you just for once fuck off? All right, guys, we're playing Pokemon today. You know the vibes. Uh, if you guys do have a Prime available, I'd really appreciate it. Honestly, it goes like a long way, and you can use your account, your mom's account. Oh, one second, turn the camera off. <sighs> or whatever. It's like five seconds, two clicks. Like, just come on, guys. You know the vibe. All right? It's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here's my Dr. Mario to my Mario. Just different fit, same vibe. I think that just leaves us with Chocolate Machine uh, and the football. I don't know exactly what I want to do for the football. I can't do a sub giveaway. It's actually illegal. But I could do a giveaway for like if you watch Mogul Money on Tuesday. Or if you like retweet a tweet, I think maybe. You know what I maybe I'll do? We're almost at a million followers on Twitter. So maybe I'll give it away to one of my random followers when we hit a milli. It's time. Let's move the football out of the way. We have a lot of chocolate. Damn it, George! I said chocolate. Oh, come on. Sorry, he only seems to care when it's white chocolate. Got our machine here. Now this is an industrial chocolate fountain. The way it works, if you don't know, there's this giant thing with little scissors that you put in here and you spin. And it's supposed to suck up the chocolate and then pour it down the fountain but it doesn't stay on very straight, so you need to put this sarcophagus over it. And then to get more layered effects, you put these on top. Now, I'm gonna preheat it. All right, careful, do not overheat. Okay, I'm gonna not preheat it. Set microwave on, wait, I have to put it in the microwave? I'm gonna, I'm gonna microwave it. It's working. Maybe I just cycle it around a bit. Let's throw in a little oil. Why oil? So actually chocolate is mostly oil. Um, the cacao bean is one of the driest substances on earth. So oil is what helps get the texture you know and love from chocolate. Cause chocolate's actually mostly fat. Is this true? Nah, I made it up. Sounds right though. You believed it. It's actually getting nice and melty welty. So this is 
an industrial chocolate fountain made for weddings or maybe cool funerals. And uh, I think we're about done preheating. Let's see it go up the fountain. Okay, success, but we need more chocolate. I want it to look really cool and be like perfectly flowy. All right, this is gonna be the most beautiful waterfall. The moment of truth, boys. It's bubbling over. It looks kind of gross right now. I'm sure those, there's just some hard pieces that'll smooth out. It's smelling a lot worse by the second. Is there smoke coming off? You can see the chunk, so it looks a bit like shit. I think it's a little bit thick still. We're gonna let it run for just a minute to see if it thins out on its own by melting the chocolate via osmosis. If it doesn't, I'll add more oil. Oh wait, we're getting there though. Look at this. Look at this, this is actually, this is happening. This looks good. It does smell really bad, concerningly bad. It's alive! Okay, you can do this. I have one of the hardest jobs in America. <laughs> what is up, boys? Hey, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna try out a new segment. Does it taste good? And behind me, I have a $1,500 industrial chocolate fountain, and we're gonna chocolify all these things and see if they taste good or bleh. Bad! And I'll give you my reviews at the end. If you're watching this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's get to it. Our first item is a little bit wacky. Here's a brick of ramen broken off into a little piece. It's actually dried pasta. Let's see how it tastes with some chocolate though. Ooh, look at that. Get that real chocolatey. All right. All of my validation comes from your guys' support. So without it, I fall into deep depressions. Huh, that's actually not bad. The texture of the ramen's pretty good, but all you really taste is the chocolate. Overall, six out of 10. All right, let's try some fruit. This is pear, but it kind of looks like, oh shit. My God, what a delicious pear. This is the most delicious pear I've ever had in my life. That was delicious. 10 out of 10. All right, let's go normal. This is just a piece of toast. Although admittedly I did burn it. This is delicious. It's literally just tastes like a, a, a less thick Nutella. Anyway, broccoli with chocolate. Oh my God. That is so not chocified. Oh my God. Um, okay, broccoli was the worst one so far. I think this one might be slightly worse though. Blech. Oh. This is a tomato. Bottoms up. Oh, that's terrible. That's the worst thing I've had. Oh. Let's move over to something kinder on my stomach and my taste buds. All right, this is chocolate dried pineapple. Delicious. That was great. Uh, what else do I have here? Slim Jim. Full disclosure, they do sponsor me, but this is not a sponsored segment. I will be fully honest on the taste of a Slim Jim with chocolate. Whoa! Wait, it's smoking! What the heck? Chat!
I jammed the fork into the machine. I panicked and I jammed the fork. Oh, why do I do this? Okay. That fork is stuck. Unfortunately, that is a stuck fork. Slim Jim. No. The problem is Slim Jim takes about 15 bites to chew and swallow. And by bite three, the chocolate's gone. And rather than being an evolution of flavors, it, it, it ends up being a bit weird. This is Flamin' Hot Limon Dorito. That was not bad. Makes you feel a little bad about yourself. And then this is the most degenerate thing I'm doing today. This is Chocified Tim Tams, which is a chocolate wrapped chocolate wafer with chocolate on top. Yeah, that's fucking gas. Dude. Imagine I put a fangy in there. Ooh, scary. Uh, how do I dispose of this giant tub of liquid though? Cause you, it, can you remove it? Drink it? Drink five pounds? What do I get, Badlands Chug here? All right, Chug Nation, it's time. Giant tub of chocolate, big straw, chug time. <sighs> I don't think I have the power. <laughs> okay, I can do this. <coughs> Icky. Oh my God. Oh, so much. Holy shit.